compassionate response to the tragic fire incident in Kuwait, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced an ex gratia payment of rupees 2 lakh for the bereaved families of Indian nationals who perished. The devastating blaze, which erupted early on Wednesday in a multi-storey building in the Mangav area of southern Kuwait, claimed the lives of at least 49 individuals, predominantly Indians, and left over 50 injured. The Prime Minister convened a review meeting at his official residence to discuss the catastrophe. During the meeting, he expressed profound grief over the incident, offering his condolences to the families of those who lost their lives and wished a swift recovery for the injured. PM Modi has directed that all possible assistance be extended by the Government of India in this dire situation. The Prime Minister has also tasked the Minister of State for External Affairs, Kirti Vardhan Singh, to promptly visit Kuwait to oversee relief operations and ensure the quick repatriation of the mortal remains of the deceased Indian nationals. Earlier in the day, the Indian Embassy in Kuwait communicated its engagement with Kuwaiti law enforcement, fire service and health department authorities to coordinate necessary actions following the tragedy. In a statement before departing for Kuwait, Kirti Vardhan Singh detailed the efforts being made. Please have a look at what he said. See, we had a meeting last evening, last night with the Honourable Prime Minister and that's the last update we have about this uh, very uh, sad tragedy. And uh, the rest of the situation will be cleared the moment we reach there. The situation is that uh, the victims are mostly are burn victims and some of the bodies have been uh, charred beyond recognition. So a DNA test uh, is underway to identify uh, the victims and the uh, Air Force plane is on the ready and as soon as the bodies are identified, their kin will be uh, informed and uh, our Air Force plane will bring the bodies back. The latest figures that we had last night, uh, the casualty figures are around 48-49, out of which 42 or 43 are believed to be our countrymen Indians. The fire which broke out in a building housing Indian labourers has had a devastating impact. Disturbing visuals from the site reveal the extent of the tragedy. Indian ambassador to Kuwait has rushed to the scene to provide support and oversee relief efforts. Additionally, the Kuwaiti government has ordered a massive demolition of illegal buildings as part of their response to the incident. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.